Hey, this is Nate from Clay Trader, going over some of the basics of the Thinkorswim platform again today. Uh, here we're going to go over the actual stock scanner, the screener uh, built in portion of TOS. Uh, that's just going to be this scan tab up here at the top. So, first off, let's just go over some of the basics of the window or the scanner itself, some of the layouts. Um, we're basically just going to be in the very basic uh, stock hatcher right here. Um, there's more options than that. Um, we can dive into some of these in more advanced videos, but for now, this is where we're going to be staying. Uh, very top left here, you're going to start out, you're going to choose uh, where you want to scan. Uh, today, we're just going to leave that as stocks. Um, pretty basic, we just leave that where it's at. Uh, and then you can go ahead and build your scan out by using this add stock filter here or this add study filter. Um, we'll both dig into both of those in a little bit here. Um, once you have your scan set up the way you want it to, you can go ahead and modify how the results are shown down here. Show how many there are um, and how they're sorted in eight ascending or descending or what you want to do. Um, and then you just hit the scan button and go ahead and all your results will show up down here in the bottom. Um, you can also save your results by using the save button here, but we'll touch on that in a minute. Um, another button that we're actually going to start out with here today is this little menu button up here. This is going to let us save scans, um, access some save scans and that type of stuff. So let's just go ahead and jump right in there. So if we go ahead and click on this and go to load scan query, these are all built in scans um, that come with the TOS platform. Uh, so public common scans here and then kind of like top 10. So the top 10 gains in the NASDAQ or the NYSE or anything like that. So um, let's just go ahead and we'll just do the public and let's do top change gainers um, today. So as you can see, it automatically pops in, pulls in some stock filters for us down here. Right here, we're looking at uh, the last. So we're saying anything that closed above $2 uh, yesterday. Um, and then the stock changed since then. Um, so you can see that's filtered anything that actually had a gain. So is that 0% gain or higher? And then also the volume. So the volume on the 50 is greater than uh, 500,000 here. So on the daily chart. Um, so you can see kind of as it breaks down the first query, we would have 8,000 matches. And then with this one, um, we only have 23 matches. So we can kind of run that here once and see the results that it, hit, that it gives us. So um, we have it ascended or sorted by percent change and that's descending. So we're going to hit scan here. Uh, just give us a second uh, and it'll pull up the results. So here's all the results then that meet this criteria. So percent gainers since, since yesterday and they're sorted by the highest gainers. So ESI is the top percent gain since yesterday. So let's just jump over to the charts once and we'll pull up ESI once. And we'll see what that chart looks like. Clean up my charts here a little bit. Um, so you can see from yesterday to this morning, um, we got a pretty big, pretty big gap from $3 to 380. So it's not a big ticket, big dollar stock, but um, still jumped quite a bit. Let's take a look at one of the other ones, see if this window will pop back, populate back up for us again. Um, so JKS looks like it's another one. So let's do, let's pull up JKS and just see what it looks like here. And Thinkorswim is taking its sweet time this morning. So I guess we'll just, uh, we'll just skip on that one for now. Um, so that's kind of building a built-in scanner. You can use any other, any of these other ones you want. Um, just kind of see what they do, see how they work. Um, you can see some of these do like upcoming dividends and upcoming earnings. Um, and those will actually incorporate um, the study filter. So if you click on one of those, you can see here, it's basically just gonna pull up this, it's titled the study and it's saying anything that has a dividend coming out in the next 10 bars, or in this case, it's the daily chart, so in the next 10 days. So if you go ahead and hit scan here, we'll see if anybody's got dividends here in the next 10 days. It might not be kind of auto search. Yeah, see, there's nothing coming up. There's not really any earnings coming up here pretty quick. So um, let me show, pull up another one here that I have saved. Um, this is a common one that I use for finding some more long-term options plays. So we can just give you a quick walkthrough here. So basically what I'm looking at is for underlying stocks that have closed above $2, um, then the average volume is above 50. Um, and the simple moving average uh, is and the volume is above 2 million. So over the last 50 periods, I want uh, average volume that's over 2 million. So just I'm looking for high liquidity stocks here. Um, and then I'm also looking at IV percentile. Uh, that's pretty huge when you're talking about options. We're not going to get into that today, but um, we want something that's a high, a high IV percentile. Um, I'm looking between 85 and 100. That can obviously be changed or modified based on your strategy you're looking for. Um, 
And then I'm also learning, I'm pulling in some more studies over here. So I'm also looking for earnings. And I don't want any earnings coming up because I don't want those messing with. These are typically long-term scans, um, 30 to 40 days out. And I don't want any earnings messing around with the with the stock price or causing any issues there. So I'm also scanning for anything that does not have earnings in the next 40 days. So if we go ahead and hit scan here, you can see it's sorted by IV percentile and that's ascending. Um, so we'll just kind of see what, what results come up here for us today. So here is our result, and we actually want this to be a descending IV percentile. So I'm going to change that in his scan again and let it resort this for us. So here you can see, here's all of ours out here. Um, a lot of a lot of turmoil today in the market. So um, we're actually going to pull back a lot more results than we typically would. Um, but you can see a lot of these have 100% IV percentile. Um, and basically, these are just all the ones that match our study here. Now, as you can see, I had this this uh, search saved. Uh, to do that, you just go up here and click this little menu button again, and then click Save Scan Query, and you'd name it whatever you want to save it at. You can see mine's already saved and has that title in there. Um, you can also save this all these results to a watch list, then so you can go ahead and act on that. You just click this little Save button here, and it'll ask, what do you want to name that watch list? So if I name it uh, Temp over here. So then if I pull this over here in my watch list, uh, as you can see here is this exact same duplicate of what's over here. It just created for us in this watch list over here. So let's actually go ahead and just create something real simple, just kind of show you how to add things to the to the scan. So we're basically going to change the scan in options up here to category. We're just going to do all stocks. Uh, pretty straightforward. And let's do all stocks. Let's look for something that, that's gapped open in the last day. So um, let's go with a percent change. And let's go with anything that's gapped up at least 10% since yesterday. Um, as you can see, it builds in these brackets now. And there's not a whole lot in that area, but we'll find a little bit. So let's add another stock filter. And we also want to have anything that has increased volume. So let's go increased volume. We'll make that, I don't know, do 10 as well. Um, you can see that filters out for us too. And then we want to sort by the percent change. So basic. Um, we we'll just go down here percent change and we want that to be descending. So we want the highest percent change on the top. Let's go ahead and hit scan here and see what comes up for us. So here you go. You can say we have four of them that have a percent change of at least 10% or more um, and a high and a increased volume as well. So it looks like ESI is one of them. Let's see if we can get our charts to pull us up, pull up for us here. ESI. So there you go. You can see another big gap up um, right there um, since yesterday. So. Uh, pretty straightforward, and that's how you add different studies and stock filters and that kind of thing to the scanner tab and use it. Um, you definitely just get in here and mess around with it. It's all going to depend on what kind of scans or what kind of setups you're looking for, uh, but that's kind of the gist of how to use it. Thank you. One of the questions that we get on a daily basis is how do we find stocks to trade? To answer this question, we went ahead and made a free resource guide. The guide lists the five tools that we use every day that helps us find stocks that are in play. The guide is short, sweet, and to the point, and best of all, it's free. Go ahead and click that box, enter your email address, and we'll send it to you right away. As always, if you like this video or find it helpful, please leave us a thumbs up or a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.